Hi everybody, I'm Susan Mulvihill. Are you growing winter squash and pumpkins this year? Have you been wondering how to know when they're ripe? Well, that is the topic of this week's video. And I'll also show you a simple step you can do so that they will keep longer in storage than you thought possible. The first thing I wanted to do is show you the types of winter squash and pumpkins I'm growing this year. This one is a Kusha winter squash. It is absolutely delicious and it makes great pies. This one is a Poti Maron winter squash and I love the size of them, very useful. This is a butternut squash. I think that's probably everybody's favorite, right? And right next door, I've got a new to me variety of a bush acorn squash that is called Goldilocks. Those are gonna be great. And I'm growing New England pie pumpkins. I bet you can guess why I'm growing those. If you have never made a homemade pumpkin pie with your own pumpkin that you grew, you are missing out. And I wanna tell you that I have instructions for doing just that on my website. So be sure to check it out. So how can you tell these are ripe? The first thing I would look at is the color of the skin. If you're familiar with what these are supposed to look like when they're mature, or you've looked at the seed packets or photos online, look to see if they are that mature color. Now in the case of Poti Maron, I know it's supposed to have a nice reddish orange skin. They were paler earlier in the season, and now they have that lovely color. Another thing you should look at is the stem where it attaches to the vine. That should start looking almost golden and dry. And that's a good thing to look for. But the most important thing you need to do is what I like to call the thumbnail test. That's where you press your thumbnail into the skin and you really give it quite a lot of pressure. If it cuts through the skin, and in my case it did, that means that it is not ripe. You just leave it alone and let it keep growing. But if it didn't cut into the skin, if this skin is really hard, you can harvest it. And what you want to do is leave a couple of inches of stem attached. This is an area that can have rotting and it will deteriorate very quickly. And of course that means you want to use it first. But the main thing is see if it passes the thumbnail test. If it doesn't, just leave it alone, let it keep growing. I did have somebody ask me once about the thumbnail test because they were wondering if that little cut into the skin could open up the squash to some type of disease or rotting. And no, I have never had that happen. It's just such a little superficial cut. I promised a tip about making your winter squash and pumpkins last a really long time in storage, and here it is. Once you have harvested them, move them to an area that is bright, warm, and protected from the weather. Keep them there for two weeks, and they will keep in storage like you would not believe. I have had winter squash last over a year by doing this, and I don't normally take that long to get around to eating one, but I was shocked they lasted so long. So why does this work? My theory is that the two-week curing process allows the skin to really harden off, and so it does make them last longer. It is so easy to do this and so worth your time. So what about storing your winter squash and pumpkins after they've gone through that two week curing process? What I do is I keep ours down in our basement. It's a constant 50 degrees. It's dark in the area that I use and it works great and they keep so long. But I realize not everybody has a basement or a cellar. So one thing you might consider doing is just using a closet, putting them on the floor in the back, maybe put them on sheets of newspaper and they should store great for you. There's one other thing I wanted to mention. You know, sometimes there are some squash that started growing a little later in the season, 
and there's no way that they're going to be mature by the end of your growing season when the frosts come. Did you know you can harvest these and just pretend like they're a summer squash, like a zucchini, and you can slice them, saute them, steam them, whatever you want to do, and they're still perfectly edible. So don't waste those young squash that didn't make it in time for the end of the season. Well, that's all for now. I hope these tips were helpful for you and that you have a bountiful harvest. Remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, then I know that you are enjoying these videos. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.